Hi all. In this video, we are going to learn about a new chapter, Asia Climate, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So this is the chapter which we are going to discuss is from class 8 ICSC. So I am using the book called Goyal Brothers and if you are using other book, you can also view this video. So we have already uploaded the chapter India Geographical Feature, chapter number 8 and chapter number 10 India Human Resource. So without wasting any of our time, let me get started with the Asia Climate, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So I am making this video because of your examination and for more such videos, you need to subscribe this channel. Let me look at the introduction. So the vast continent of the Asia which extends from the Arctic Circle to the Southern Hemisphere. From the Arctic Circle to the Southern Hemisphere, the vast continent Asia stretches. So this continent, uh, this continent Asia passes through many climatic zones, has many climatic conditions. So these climatic conditions are influenced or affected by many factors. So one of those factors is latitude, distance from the sea, monsoon winds, direction of the mountain ranges and ocean current. These factors affect the climate of Asia. Let me look at the latitude. We all know that the country, the continent Asia extends from the 10 degree south to 80 degree north latitudes. From 10 degree south to 80 degree north latitude and 25 degree east to 170 degree west. So this Asia is there. So this Asia between that latitude and longitude experience many type of climate. Many type of climate are there such as the hot and wet climate type of climate, equatorial type of climate in the south and dry and cold type of climate in the north. So that is known as the tundra type of climate and temperate and tropical climate in the central Asia. So, how, this is how the latitude affects the climate of Asia. How the vast continent of Asia, 10 degree, 10 degree south to 10 degree south to 80 degree north, passes um, as many type of as uh, many types of climatic ranging from hot and wet equatorial. And this example you need to see. So, second factor is distance from the sea. Distance from the sea. So, the places which are close to the sea experience moderate climate. Places which are close to the sea experience moderate climate means places which are close to the sea experience neither too hot nor too cold. Whereas places away from the sea, that is places interior, interior means away from the sea experience the extreme of climate. What is this extreme of climate? Extreme of climate means very very hot during winter and very very cold during the summer. What is example of extreme of climate? So see here, the Asia covering the many part has some, has some extreme of climate because the central Asia is away from the sea. That's the reason it experienced the extreme of climate. So if extreme of climate I told you it is very very hot during winter and very very cold during the summer. So such as Vorkoyansk in the Siberia is minus 50 degree in winter that is very very cold. So Jakobabad in Pakistan experience plus 50 degree Celsius in summer which is very very hot. So the third factor is monsoon winds. So during summer when the mainland of Asia get heated. So this is Asia map. During summer, we are going to talk about this summer. During summer, when the mainland of Asia gets heated, uh, when the mainland of Asia get heated, when anybody eat it, it will develop the low pressure. When the mainland of Asia get heated, it develops a low pressure. But these water bodies, these water bodies are cooled. If any body is cooled, it develops high pressure. So the wind always blows from these cold, uh, low pressure area to the high pressure area means the wind started to blow from these water bodies to the ocean so this water bodies we will call this this part of water bodies now is arabian sea this is arabian sea so wind started to blow from this arabian sea which is high pressure to the low pressure area uh, that is to the land so when it start to blow it pick up the moisture from this arabian sea and give heavy, heavy rainfall to the india and the asian parts and uh, when when it is summer, it will it is going to happen like this. What I told, but what happened during the winter? During winter, what is going to happen is this Asian part will be cooled. When it is cooled, it will develop the what high pressure. Any body when it is cooled, it develops the high pressure. That's the reason this water bodies will be heated. 
these water bodies will be heated during the winter when it is heated what is going to happen it is going to develop the low pressure Th that's the reason the wind is going to blow from this high pressure area that is from land to water what in winter season okay in winter season so these winds which are blowing from land to ocean are known as the northeast so these do not give any rainfall because they are not passing through any ocean or sea so the fourth factor which affects the climate of asia is distance direction of the mountain ranges so the himalayas so this is himalaya so this is uh, india actually so think this is india so this is the rest of the asian country right this is a uh, himalaya so this is a rough diagram so if so this himalaya uh, is in the south asia which prevent the cold winds so this is central asia there is a cold bitter winds which is coming from this central asia these himalaya will not make it to entry into this subcontinent sub country india it's from this country india sorry from this country of uh, to this country india so these cold winds which are coming from the central asia are not supposed to enter this india how who, will, who is going to help this by himalayas himalayas does not allow the cold winds from central asia to enter the subcontinent in winter so the force as i told you that uh, southwest monsoon winds are going to come to the northeast so they will not allow the southwest monsoon winds to go outside because these southwest monsoon winds are very valuable as they give rainfall so the fourth factor is ocean currents so the cold and warm ocean currents affects the climate of the particular region for example cold ocean currents which comes from the north washes the western coast of japan affects the climate of japan making by making it extreme cold means the cold osho current which come from the north passes through this japan this is a japan this is a rough diagram when this passes through a japan what is going to happen is it will make the japan extremely cold whereas the east coast of japan is washed whereas this east coast of japan is washed by the warm crucio this is warm that's the reason the winter will be milder winter will be somewhat hot because of this warm crucio current which was is the east coast of this japan we are going to discuss the climatic conditions during the year so we have already learned some in the year only during summer what is going to happen when uh, when this Uh, this is heated and this is the water bodies are cooled it will blow from year to year and during the uh, winter uh, during the winter what is going to happen this will be heat that is water body will be heat and uh, the land body will be cooled that's the reason it will blow from year to year we have learned that right so that only we are going to learn in more elaborate manner in this two part so that's uh, that uh, topic we are going to discuss in the next part of the video still then you should be liking this video and sharing with your friends please do not forget to subscribe this channel by doing so i will be encouraged to make more videos within your examination 